Hello and welcome to Kids Corner. So Winston and I have been working on this kind of reddish brown paint uh, that we have had left over from painting the window and we've been trying to think what we could make with the paint. And we've talked about it and then Sir Winston remembered that he thought that Highland cattle, particularly little calves, were rather cute. So we thought, okay, you try to make a Highland cow. Now Highland cows are either kind of that reddish brown or they can be black. And I don't know if you've ever seen them and we'll, we'll pop up a picture perhaps of a, of a baby, but they're the cows with the very long hair and very big horns. And they were found in the Highlands of Scotland and on the Outer Islands. So to make one, you're going to need crayons, markers, paint in kind of a red brown and a peachy color. You'll find black markers useful, scissors, pencil eraser, scrap paper, glue, and of course a toilet paper roll, which you want to check to see, like this one, if you've got any toilet paper sticking through it. We've already painted ours because we wanted time to allow it to dry. But if you're just getting ready to paint, you'll want to do a couple of things so you can do them all at once. And one is to make the ears because you'll want to do those the same color. So you will cut out a piece of paper, fold it over so it's a rectangle and draw on an ear. And so when you cut it out, you will have two ears. And you'll also want to cut out a rectangle that you'll paint both sides because Highland cows have, well, it's like too long a bangs or a, the Australians would say a fringe coming down. Now, if you had yarn the same color, that would be really neat too. But in this case, we're going to use paper that we're going to paint. Now, you can either before you color or paint or afterwards make a, the two legs and again look for a place that you're not going to have the seam come through the face or where you're going to cut away for the legs. So I'm just going to draw an upside down U and I'm going to take my scissors and cut it out. You'll find that it is very useful to have smaller scissors to do this because it can be hard to get around the curve at the top. And this gives legs. Now you don't have to do this. You can make this without legs. So here's what it looks like. And I think what we'll do is we'll start with some of the things that make a Highland cow and a Highland cow. And one of them is the horn. So again, take a piece of paper, fold it over and draw on a horn. And the horns are quite long round here and then they curve up quite a piece too. And so I've done this with paper. You could possibly do it with cardboard, but it's easier to fold paper over and cut it out. Now, if you can, or um, you can if you like, you might want to give them a little color because the horns are not bright white, but I'm probably going to leave them the way they are. Now, of course, because I did black so you could see it, my horn is look like it's ringed in black so I'm just going to do the other horn so that it looks similar but this is where you it's much better to use a pencil. The horns sometimes look like they're a bit more black on the end. 
So we're going to take our glue. We're going to put some on the back side. And we're going to put it at the top in the middle. And we're going to take our other horn and make sure that you're going to put the glue on the side that when you put the horn on, that it's going to stick up. And we've got the horns on. Now, when we're gonna let that dry, why don't we make the eyes? So again, take a piece of scrap paper, fold it over and draw an eye that looks like this and then cut it out. And because you folded it over, when you're done cutting it out, you will have two eyes. Now, Highland cow's eyes have a great big pupil in the middle and a pupil is black. So what I'm going to do is take my black marker and I'm going to draw a big circle in the middle. And I'm going to draw a little circle inside of it that I'm going to color around. And that will leave like a bit of white on it. And that just kind of gives him a much livelier look as if the light is catching the eyes. And then I'm going to color the rest of the eye a brown color. So their eyes are quite dark and actually most of the time it's very hard to see their eyes because their eyes are covered by that hair. So I'm just going to set those two aside and we're going to make the muzzle or the nose and mouth. So you can take your pencil and I'm going to draw it on marker so it's easier to see. And you're going to draw a shape that's a little like a rectangle with rounded edges, although the bottom isn't quite as long as the top. And in the middle of the bottom, you're going to go up a bit and then draw a line underneath for the mouth. And then you're going to draw nostrils in the bigger part. I'll hold it up here so that you can see it. See there? And I'm going to color that in with sort of the peachy pinky color. And then I'm going to cut it out. I just find it easier to color this sometimes before I cut. And there we go. So what we're going to do going to take our muzzle. We're going to put glue on the back of it. Pick up and you're going to make sure that it's in the center. Press it down, down a little bit. There, wipe away a little bit of glue and you can see where we put it. Now we're going to put on the eyes, which can be a little tricky. A bit of glue on it and a little bit of an angle over one edge of the muzzle. A bit of glue on the other eye. going to try to line it up so that it's on the same level. There we are. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're just going to have a look. Yes, that looks pretty good because it will cover 
some of his, the straight part of his horns. And then we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut little lines up, but not all the way to the top. And we're going to do that all the way across. And that will make it look like hair. So the thinner they are, the more like hair they'll look. And there it is. So then what we're going to do is we're going to put some glue along the top of it, parts that doesn't have any cuts. And we're going to pick them up and put it in the center. So you can see there, you can see that it's almost like he's lost one of his eyes. And our ears are going to sit on our Highland cattle, Highland cow, just below the horns. There we we'll get the fringe out a bit. And there we are with our Highland cow. So if you could bow your head and repeat after me, we'll have a little prayer. Loving God, thank you for the gift of nature. Help us to look after your world. Help us to be kind to other people. Thank you for loving us. Amen. And we'll see you next time at Kids Corner.